The Noose River is about 300 yards to my left, your screen right over here, ground zero during Hurricane Florence's arrival and the great uh, surge that we had right A neighborhood by the Noose River turned into the temporary set for WCTI-TV for days following Hurricane Florence. Florence was a powerful force of nature that wiped out entire neighborhoods, people's livelihoods, in some instances, everything they owned. Those losses included WCTI station in New Bern, North Carolina. Floodwaters forced the news crews to leave their station. And you always hear it was like a bomb, but you can see in this neighborhood, it really was like a bomb went off. Water rushed into their studios, but it didn't keep them from informing the public. We are gonna still continue to cover this storm. But I can tell you that we as a station, because we are, you know, an emergency source of information for the community, we're going to stay on the air. And that's what their journalists did until support arrived from other stations in the form of satellite trucks, live backpacks, and technology. Our news gathering via cell phone shot video, uh, did Facebook Lives, and uh, uploaded as much as we could. They worked from remote locations until they came up with a plan. Here at WCTI-TV in Newburn, North Carolina, these journalists have a new home. These trailers serve as a temporary newsroom for all the journalists inside who haven't given up on their stories. As families who lost homes started figuring out their next steps, so did staff members who had damage at home and at work. Thankfully, we didn't have a huge loss of life here, but it's still hard to see that people are really going to go through some pain to get themselves back to where they were and in some cases may never go back in the home that they were in before the storm. Work is still underway even months later to get stories of recovery on the air in makeshift conditions. News Director Eric Olson says each story they cover reminds them of what is most important. I mean you, you look at the piles of things that are you know on the ground in some of these neighborhoods and they're things, things can be replaced. In Tuscaloosa, Chandra Clark, WVUA 23.